for me, you really can't beat a couple of big bouncers. The secret's in the cup size when it comes to this sort of thing, mate. Is it bonds or is it baps? I ain't fussy, I like mine fruity. And again. And again. That's it. Look. Well done. Look at that. <laughs> Do I get your hands in and mix it up with your hands? Yeah. As an ex bouncer, I've faced up to some pretty challenging things in my time. But this has got to be the worst of the lot. Breast cancer. It affected me, my children, and my grandchildren. I don't want future generations going through what we've had to go through. We've got to fight this thing every way we can. I hope there's going to be a cure one day, but we need to act now and stop this thing ruining more lives. The fact is, there's simply not enough money being spent on prevention. We need to educate people about who's vulnerable and how they can reduce the risks. Let's talk about how it affects both men and women. Let's not get embarrassed by the subject and help as many people as possible avoid getting breast cancer. I'm going to put some cream on mine so mine really stand out. To be honest, I'm a little bit uh, nervous of exposing mine to the entire world. Mine are usually really fruity. My husband appreciates a lovely pear. Yeah. <laughs> I think what we should do is eat some cake. <laughs> Whether it's baking a slightly dodgy cake or simply donating money, Prevent Breast Cancer needs your help. We want to create a future without breast cancer and our charity is the only charity in the UK that is entirely dedicated to the prevention of this horrible disease. And this is something that we can achieve with funding research, early diagnosis, screening, lifestyle changes. We can free this world of something that causes so much pain to so many thousands men and women. Now we've come a long way but there's still a long way to go. Please join Prevent Breast Cancer on the front line and let's protect our family, friends and the next generation and enjoy your cakes.